Hey guys, so the stove is going. I'm not exactly sure how to show it to you with the camera. Um, let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? No. Darn it. I need to get this drawer pulled out so I can put the camera on it. So, hey Israel, how are you? Hopefully you can hear me. If you can't hear me, tell me. There we go, now you can see. Okay, so we just had some baby goats born. And hey, Aardvark. We just had some baby goats born, so I had to rush out here. I was planning on editing all day and having all my work finished and caught up. Hey, Catherine, how are you? Um, so we just had baby goats born, and I was planning on editing all day because we had all the videos from setting the bench up. But here I am out here because of baby goats, so I am just going to reheat the cabin. And the reason I have to reheat it is because even though I had all the mass warm last night, I forgot to close the holes. This one, this one actually has a damper, but if you don't close all the holes in the stove down, what happens is that all the warm air gets sucked out during the night because the chimney is still fluing up. And so, sorry, this one has air portals in the back that allow it to, um, that secondary burn to be a little bit hotter so the air can be sucked out those holes and then the air can be sucked out the front hole so let's see elijah made it gina made it lindsay made it frankie made it hello hello and Tamara made it so this is the stove and whenever you have a new tool like this there is a learning curve and what we're finding on this one is that it is sucking the flame sideways up the chimney instead of burning the wood. So I'm having to sit here and kind of baby it a little bit with twigs. I'm trying to coax the, coax the fire to the front of the stove rather than just burning on the end of the stove because I keep having to push the log back towards the flame because it's just sucking it off the wood and straight up the chimney, which isn't heating anything up. So... I'm just sitting here playing with it. It is warming up the cabin. It's just that we have a huge amount of mass. There's mass in the stove itself. There, that shroud is full of pea gravel. And then I have the whole bench that it's attached to. All that pebble, all that mass has to heat up before the room starts to heat up because that's where the chimney is going. Um, Israel said, is it cold in Idaho? We had, uh, it froze last night. And um, it is chilly this morning because of the wind. But it's actually not too bad because the greenhouse that's on the front of the cabin, uh, as long as it's a sunny day, it starts to heat the cabin up, which is nice. I haven't had the girls out here yet, except for just to drop some things off. The reason is I wanted to make sure that the stove was going to work and it wasn't going to be smoking and it would be really comfortable. So they will be out here around lunchtime to help me with some projects. Um, Lindsay said, we have Nigerian dwarf goats. What do you have? We have alpines. And they are fantastic. This was a first kidding for this goat, and so I really um, needed to be out here just to make sure everything would be okay. Not that I don't always try to be out here, because I do. It's just it's just good practice, it, even if you're not actually needed. What if you weren't needed and you weren't here? Then you feel awful because you lose babies. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the Facebook Lives that we're doing. Catherine from Little Bits of Heaven is doing the Facebook Lives with me. And um, they have been a lot of fun. It's just a lot easier to do a live show over on Facebook than it is here. Um, let's see. Oh, I keep missing comments. Israel said, I really like your tiny house. I really like my tiny house, too. It is coming along. We spent a lot more money on it last year than we probably will this year. Everything now is pretty much... Um, well, I've already got the paint purchased. I have the paint right here next to me ready to put on the wall. What else do I need to do? I already have cushions, I already have bedding. I need to do flooring, but I don't think I'll get to it this time around. Um, just because there's no way that I'm gonna get to flooring and still live in the tiny house. It's really hard to live in a house while you're building it. And you can see I can put my hand in here. If this had coals built up really good, I couldn't put it in that far. But again, all of the flame is getting pulled sideways. Hey, Doug and Stacy, how are you? Um, let's see, Adventures Arvark says, I do not get to see the, light, the Facebook live chats. That is true. They're only on Facebook. It's just really easy because then I can invite Catherine on. And for some reason, the actual um, 
bandwidth required in order to do Facebook Live is less and crisper, and, and the result is crisper than what I do with the YouTube Live. So Frankie Robertson said, what color paint will you be using Eco Paint? So the color that I'm using is Autumn Haze, and it is not Eco Paint. I could do Eco Paint for sure, um, but this is what I had locally. So, you know, I came into this really wanting to do everything eco-friendly, but if, but the shed itself is not eco-friendly. There's a lot of formaldehyde in here from the plywood, and um, that's the main source of not eco-friendly is the plywood, because we don't have, that's, everything else is natural. We've got the tin, we've got the, uh, the pine that we use, and those are very eco-friendly, but um, a lot of the other stuff, I just felt like I was learning and I didn't want to mess it up with something that was really expensive. So we went conventional with most things. Um, Lindsay said, I hope you get to stay in Idaho. Hope John gets a job in Idaho. Well, I really do love it in Idaho. I also like Tulsa and um, we've liked, uh, we've really loved New Mexico. I mean, there's a lot of places that we've been that we absolutely loved being there. And I do love Idaho. For one thing, it's a lot easier for me to do projects here because I already have my boneyard. I have everything set up. My animals are here. So it's just a lot easier for me to do projects in Idaho. Um, let's see. Doug and Stacy, yes, they are here. Um, Dustin Dean said the stove looks pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I need to add some paint to it because on the side with the... Uh, with the vent, it's pretty ugly right now. It's very ugly right now because we used the uh, the high temp sealant, which is orange. They don't make it in black, apparently, at least not in our area. We looked high and low, and so now it has this really orange fireproofing stuff on it, and it looks awful. But the vent itself is pretty. Um, so, as soon as we kind of have everything like this sorted out and the weather is cool enough, or not cool enough, warm enough, that I don't have to have um, it on, I'm going to go ahead, once the mass is heated back up, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. That vent. Yeah. It's really interesting how this works. It's just incredibly interesting. It doesn't want to burn in the front. It wants to burn in the back. It just sucks the, it just sucks the flame to the back. And we have also found that sometimes the grate is a good thing and sometimes it's, it's not. Like right now, it's not a good thing because, again, because the air can go past it so fast it's sucking the flame to the back instead of burning it at the front. If I take the grate out, then the, the coals can stay with the wood and it might slow down a little bit. I might, I might try that. Let's see. The nice thing is, is as you're sitting here playing with it, there's no, there's no smoke or anything because it all pulls right out. We have worried a little bit about the hearth because the uh, floor here is wood, so we've extended the hearth, hearth out a little bit, and we have had some coals that fell, um, which is not fantastic, of course. But during this like testing phase, it's been um, it's been a super easy stove to work with. So now maybe we can get the whole thing to burn instead of just towards the back. And every time I started up. The conditions changed. Like last time I started up, we had a really high wind. This time there's no high wind. Um, and I don't know if that makes a difference in the draft either. Hey, Frank, that's nice. Um, okay. Ryan said, why not homestead in Arkansas? So close to where you were in Oklahoma City. Um, we went through Arkansas, actually. We liked Arkansas. We haven't stayed a long time in Arkansas, but we've driven through a couple of times and we've heard that it's really easy to farm there. Um, have we been to Lubbock, Texas? We have been to Lubbock, Texas. Uh, we liked Texas. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Lindsay said, do you make your own spinning wheels that sell on your Etsy account? And where do you get them? Actually, I don't make them, but they do have a plan on their, on their website that allows you to make your own spinning wheel. I think they call it the Gypsy. So if you go to spinillusion.com and you look up the Gypsy, I think that's what they called it. They actually have a plan there that you can purchase to make your own spinning wheel, which is pretty neat. Um, but no, the ones that I sell are, they're actually handmade when you order them. Uh, but yeah, I don't hand make them. I wish I was that good, but I'm not. Dustin said, we are eight hours from Idaho. Well, you guys should come down and make a video with us. That would be fun. Cabin Life said, hello everyone. Great, great stove design. Thank you. That would be the Honeydew Carpenter. Israel said, my small garden, my small pot garden is doing okay. All hotbed videos really inspiring. Thank you. I'm glad you like those. Those are my favorite videos. Have more farm. Hello, hello. So what you're saying is you discovered fire. We did. We discovered fire, which is good because it's really cold here. Um, so, and it's still sucking in the back and it's not sucking in the front. Once it's going really well, you can put a, a really big log in here like this. It was really cold when I got here and I was worrying about baby goats. So I started it with the, the, wood that I had on hand, which everybody who starts fires knows, or has a fireplace knows, you put in small logs first and then you put in your big log. But it was all I had on hand, so it's what I used, and so it's only burning in the back, which is driving me crazy. So, I'm not sure what I want to do about it. I could pull it out. We've been doing that lately as we've been pulling it out to play with it a little bit, but one of my problems, okay, so the chimney has to warm up too because it is insulated with aircrete. This uh, this cover here has to warm up because it's insulated in aircrete. So it's heavily insulated. It makes it so that it doesn't burn in here. Previously, when it wasn't as well insulated, what would happen is it would get going and it would get so hot that you couldn't manage to be upstairs. It was way too hot and it, it would get too hot down here as well. And um, now what it does is it's a very mild heat that spreads out through the house and keeps things really, really comfortable, but not extreme. And it is a tiny house, so you really don't want it to be extreme. But it's a good sized stove. Um, so what we're doing is playing with it, not necessarily with the design. The design is perfect. But how you put the wood in, when you put the wood in, and if I had closed off the damper and everything when I left, I would I would have come back to a warm cabin, but it sucked all the heat out of the mass because I left everything open. Um, let's see, Amanda said, one eating the other one. I can't mm -hmm. get latched. Let's see. Um, what's the trick? Okay, so I may need to go and help. I may need to go and help with a baby that won't latch on because we it's cold enough out there that we've got um, babies that really need to eat. So I may need to go and help her. So, okay, we had uh, 67 people on. Let's see if there's anything else I need to answer before I go. Hello from Florida. Hey, Frederick. Um, he's using a buffalo rub and a VW bug at night. That sounds cold. Gina said, I need a tiny wood stove for my 28-foot camper. Condensation is a problem in the winter, and I'm constantly wiping windows. The wood would, be, would solve that problem, right? Um, cabin Life said, yes, we subscribe to Honeydew Carpenter. Our interest in getting a stove for our cabin. Lindsay said, I have a raccoon that's eating my chickens, trying to catch it. Any tips? Um, do a live trap. That works pretty well. Little Bits of Heaven said, the stove is beautiful. Thank you much. Um, Layla said, can't wait to see it all finished. Are you making a video about the goats? Probably not today, since we're actually dealing with the goats today. Um, yes, finally somebody knows Lubbock. Yes, we have been to Lubbock. Um, let's see, Kevin Life said, wow, we're still under at least a foot of snow. Ours has melted, but it's very windy and cold. Um, how do you manage an ideal humidity balance? Well, right now we have humidity coming off the pebbles as they are warming up. And... So I'm not sure what should, I don't, I kind of need to go, I kind of need to go help the renter with that baby. Um, so that might be the live stream for today. Hopefully it was interesting. There's that, there's the bench. The reason the bench is still open is because the pebbles um, had been rained on, not recently, but they had a little bit of moisture. And so we're trying to get them to dry out. The bench worked. It has that two foot, it has that two foot drop into the bench and yet is still pulling like a champion but I need to get some smaller wood in here because that big wood, it's blocking the airway up into the J-tube, so I need to go play with it. So go check out the Honeydew Carpenter, and um, I am so sorry that I have to run so quickly, but I need to go help her. So we will, oh, make sure to ch share this. Make sure to go check out our Facebook. Make sure to go check out our Etsy store. Um, 
We have a whole bunch of PDFs. We have our eBooks out now on the Etsy store. So if you want to know about goats or pigs or rabbits, I get the rabbit book up today. So if you'd like to support our channel, go check out our eBooks. They are everything that I know in a nutshell, a little more concise than spreading it out over a million videos. So, and then I need to go split some wood. <laughs> yeah, the round wood logs don't burn well, but the problem was is that as I came up, it was all I had and I was trying to warm the cabin up and run and take care of the baby goats. So, Yes, I'm going to go out and split some wood, and uh, we will talk to you later.